quick update on the Titan Tornado build. I'm a little behind on processing the uh, film and footage that I've already shot, but this trip was pretty successful. I started off with getting the engine installed. Here at Titan, they custom made an exhaust system for the 912 IS that's uh, in place. Fuel control is hooked up. All of the fuel lines and oil lines and coolant lines are in place. I've gone through and as I've tightened down and torqued everything, use the paint marker and mark everything to indicate which bolts I've already checked and torqued. All the fuel lines are braided stainless steel that were custom made here at the uh, Titan factory. The air filter was a little bit of a challenge because of the inline for the fuel that comes from the fuel pump up through the firewall and into this input line here. It's a tight clearance fit, but I found uh, actually at Home Depot a coupler that worked with a rubber bushing that fit onto the uh, manifold and then it fit a small piece of pipe inside. So this is adjustable. So this will come in or out depending on where it needs to be for the wing. Evoprop in-flight electric adjustable propeller is installed and in place. The rubber mating surface for the wing has been in place and all of the windscreens are installed. The nose cone is painted and ready to go on, but at this point I'm going to leave it off until we come back on the next trip and do the first start. The passenger door and right side windows are in place. The rear removable panel for the cargo pod area is also painted and ready to be installed, but we'll leave it off while we uh, do the first starts and work on making sure all the electrical works the way it's supposed to. All the connections for the fuse box and the ECU have been, been made. Everything's connected and hooked up. Purging the oil system on the 912 IS. The maintenance manual and the installation manual call for purging of the oil system uh, prior to the first start and then after any significant uh, modifications of the oil system such as uh, oil cleaning the oil tank or changing the hoses. In preparation to do this I've pulled the four spark plugs one from each cylinder. There's no battery power. I have not connected the battery power to the system so there won't be any spark that I have to worry about so I haven't disconnected the uh, spark plug wires from the cylinders keep things clean I pulled the bottom spark plugs out of uh, one, all, all the cylinders one through four one and three on this side of the aircraft and then four on the other and two and four on the other side I've disconnected the oil line for the inside of the fuel tank this is the return line from the bottom of the crankcase that comes back into the oil tank and I've capped that off. I've attached uh, the pressure regulator so I can regulate the pressure to no more than one bar or 14, approximately 14 PSI. That will go into the overflow of the oil tank. That'll apply about 10 PSI pressure to the tank which will then help uh, force the oil into the uh, feed side of the oil system which will go out that line up into the thermostat um, because the temperature is not going to be hot enough it'll bypass the oil cooler at this point so I'll make sure that I have extra oil um, up to the max when I run the engine for the first time because once the uh, temperature 
gets up to the, the thermostat temperature of about 120, it will then uh, open and then it will pull that extra fuel into the oil cooler. So I'll make sure that I have extra oil in there. Having pulled the spark plugs, there'll be less pressure. So turning the prop uh, by hand will be easy. I'll turn it counterclockwise, which is the, turn, the rotation uh, that it normally would turn. And that will turn the oil pump, which will, with the pressure added by the airline, will uh, push the oil through the entire system. And once it's going through the entire system, I'll get some that will feed back out into this bucket. And I'll know that it's uh, filled the system. In preparation to turning the prop for the first time by hand and uh, getting the oil into the uh, lubrication system, I've also filled the coolant system because the coolant pump will also turn when I turn the, uh, the prop. So I've got the coolant levels about halfway in the overflow bottle. And then I also filled it up up here. This is the expansion tank right here. So that is full. And that will allow when that the pump right up here, this is the pump, when the coolant pump turns, when I turn the, the prop for the oil, it'll also turn that and it'll pull that coolant level, coolant into the uh, system to start uh, filling it up. That's 75 turns, and I'm starting to get a little bit of oil out of line. My pressure is still at 10 PSI. I'm going to go 25 more turns. The Titan Tornado SS model is nearing completion.